Our brains are fundamentally pattern perception machines. The, the things that we do, the feelings we have, the behaviors we exhibit and all those kinds of things are built on patterns of activation of those neurons. But what we know is that the brain is really better at picking up anomalies and patterns. Our ability to see the different thing in the environment um, is a key driver to experience. And what we know is that since we're geared towards these interruptions and expected patterns, we focus. Um, and what we also know is that in those moments of novel experience, we can enhance learning opportunities. And we fundamentally learn by getting things completely wrong. So I say, you want to drive a message to a customer um, and really have it live longer, tag those experiences, tag it with novelty. We often, as a design professionals and retailers, expect our customers to come in the stores and be able to look, see, focus, and go where we want them to go. Um, but then what we do is we present them with a million SKUs of product, all different sizes and different patterns, and it just becomes this wash of visual vibration, which is very hard for them to focus on. Does, does this idea of breaking up a set pattern also relate to the current uh, trend of creating unique customer experiences in different locations? Uh, yeah, and I think that's a, that's that's great. And I, I always talk about a specific coffee company, you know, who has a, a great you know global platform, and, and saying you know what what we want to do is we want to create a baseline of experience, right? That we can you understand the basic tenets of a brand positioning through a core program. And then what we do is we take this overlay of individualized experience or localized experience and we put that on top of it so that the environment while being immediately recognizable as being related to a brand also has this sense of novelty.